During your placement, you will be assigned a to-do list to complete. This is a list of specific assignments your program will enable for you. This list may include patient logs, where you will record detailed information about your patient encounters. To add patient logs, log onto your account and select the coursework tile from your dashboard or from the top left hamburger menu. You will then see a list of current or former placements. You could either click view details or click directly on the course name to get to the course page. You will be taken to the course activities tab where you will find a pre-designated patient log section. Here you can view information on the logs you've entered as well as the status assigned to each of your hours. Click the plus icon at the top of the page to add a new patient log. A drawer will open up, which you will complete. Here you will provide clinical notes and select the preceptor who performed your supervision. If you have not yet added your preceptor, click the plus icon and provide the necessary information to the newly opened form. The date of the encounter will automatically populate to the current day, but this could always be changed. You can change the date by clicking on the calendar icon and selecting the specific day of your encounter. You are required to populate all of the fields which are marked with a red asterisk before you can submit your log. After filling out the patient demographics, you will then fill out the visit information, which denotes the type of clinical experience you participated in on this date. You will then provide the amount of time you spent with the patient and the amount of time you spent consulting with your preceptor or any other healthcare professional. You will also provide the reason for your patient's visit. In the diagnosis section, you will provide an ICD code. As you begin to type a code or keyword, a dropdown will appear presenting options for you to select from. You will then make your selection and the system will register that code. If you need to remove any selections you have previously made, simply click on the trash bin icon. You may also have a procedure section, which is similar to the diagnosis section. Go ahead and start typing, a list will again appear for you to select from. You will then indicate how you were involved with that procedure. Lastly, you will have a section for any additional encounter details. This is where you may add any medications your patient was prescribed. You can also provide details on patient adherence and patient social problems if needed. Once you are done, you can go ahead and submit. If you are not ready yet, you could always save your progress and return to it later. Saved patient logs will be assigned the status of a in progress. Submitted patient logs will be assigned the a submitted status. Submitted patient logs will then be reviewed by your faculty or program administrator. If your faculty approves of your log, it will be assigned approved. As your program reviews your patient logs, they may request additional information. If this is the case, they will mark your log as needs attention. You will see a number here and you can go ahead and click on that to view those logs. You can then open that log by clicking the log ID and any school feedback will be listed at the top of the form. Please make these necessary edits and resubmit the form once you are done. If you are seeing patients where the majority of the patient log remains the same, you can create a template to save time. To do this click on the Create Template option, and a drawer will open with any previously created templates. If you would like to start a new one, simply click on the Add New Template button. You will provide your template with a name and make your desired selections on the form. Once you are done, you can go ahead and save it. The next time you create a patient log, you will then have this template to select from the drop-down list. Within the system, there is also a statistics report to help you review your patient logs. To view this, click on the statistics icon. You can use this statistics report to review your patient logs by rotation and setting to ensure you are meeting your program's requirements. As you begin additional placements, you can review them across the clinical year to make sure you are meeting your graduation requirements. For specific details on graduation requirements, please refer to your educational program. Please note that your statistics report is updated only once daily and updates may not reflect instantly. Thank you for watching our Creating Patient Logs Guide. Please take the time to check out our other useful user guides located on the Exat YouTube channel.